Okay, um, we're back and we're going to look at answering this question here. Um, halfway between the temperatures from number five, determine the amount of liquid and chemical composition of that liquid, the amount of solid, and the chemical composition of that solid. Let's go ahead and put this question up here to kind of remind us what we're up to. So first of all, we have to remember what um, we were doing in number five. And number five was looking at cooling from the molten alloy, and this alloy was 40% nickel. So this uh, c composition here, 40% nickel, we're cooling it from 1400 degrees C. And um, solidification starts at about right here, when it enters this temperature right here, which we said in the last video was uh, 1280. And it probably stops right about here. And um, that looks like some just above uh, 1200, maybe 1205. I don't really know what that is. But anyway, those are the temperature ranges and it's saying at the middle of that some let's let's call this i don't know let's call this middle uh 1240 1240 this is all guesswork anyway so it doesn't matter at this temperature um halfway between those two temperatures what is the amount of liquid and the chemical comp chemical composition of that liquid and then also the amount of solid and the chemical composition of that solid well of course this question recognizes that this region that is in between the liquid and the solid is a combination of the two. And that's how it will always be on these phase diagrams, that a these sing, single phase regions will be separated by a two phase region that mixes the two. You can consider this the boundary between the liquid and the alpha that contains liquid and alpha. So um, what we have in this region is liquid plus alpha. And the composition of the liquid can be indicated by the, the where the tie line um, collides with the, the phase liquid. And the composition of alpha is indicated where the tie line collides, collides with the phase of alpha. So we take these directly down here and read them off the x-axis, both values. And this one that collides into the liquid tells us that liquid has a composition of approximately, I don't know, I'm going to call that 32. The liquid is 32 weight percent uh, nickel. And of course, what that means is the remaining 68 is copper. So oftentimes the way it's written um, is like this. I'll just uh, kind of indicate that here. Copper, 32 weight percent nickel. That is the liquid. Um, now the the, lic the alpha is, we, as we can see from here, is about 52. The alpha is uh, copper, 52 weight percent nickel. And we can use those values as part of our lever in a folk with our fulcrum at the original composition of 40, of 40 weight percent nickel. And the question is um, the amount of liquid and the amount of solid. So the chemical composition of the liquid is given here, 32 weight percent nickel. The chemical composition of the solid is here, 52 weight percent nickel. Now, what is the amount of each? Now, just tell you, looking at this, the way this lever looks, you can see the lever almost sort of equally splits the two. We'll, we'll sort of bear that out by looking at the numbers, um, but just as a rough estimate, you probably have about 50-50 uh, in this particular mixture. Um, let's use the lever rule calculations though. So we'll say the fraction of liquid is equal to, um, we know on the, on the base it's going to be the difference of the total length of this lever. So that's going to be um, 50, uh, 52, minus 32, or uh, what is that, 20 on the bottom. And then on the top is the difference between, for the liquid, it runs into the liquid here, so we use the opposite side of the lever. So we use this minus that. So we've got on the top 52 subtract 40, and that gives us 8 
no, that gives us, what am I thinking? That gives us 12. Um, that gives us 12 over 20, or it's the same thing as um, 60 over 100, or um, 0 0.6 as the fraction of the liquid. And what that means is the fraction of the solid, alpha, is 1 minus the fraction of the liquid, or equal I'm doing this in my head, 0 0.4. I've just substituted this, to, to this fraction of the liquid here. The fraction of the alpha is 0 0.4. So what we have here is the amount of the liquid. The amount is uh, 0.6 times, we remember that we have 500 grams. So 0 0.6 times 500 grams, what we have is 600 grams, 600, that's not right, 0. 0.6 times 500 is 300, 300 grams liquid, uh, and that liquid has a composition of 32 weight percent nickel, and uh, we have 200 grams, grams, this is supposed to be 200 grams of alpha solid, which has this composition here, 52 weight percent nickel.